Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Shafiq Nabil bin Khairu Azman from M7 P35. Today, I'm going to discuss about first equation, which is chapter 6, chemical equilibrium. So, first equation, 2090 and 2020, question 9A, sulfur trioxide. SO3 gas decomposed to sulfur dioxide and oxygen gas according to the following equation. 2 SO3 reverse reaction produce 2 SO2 and O2. When 1.0 mole of SO3 is placed into a 2 liter vessel and heated to 344 Kelvin, the system achieves equilibrium and 0 0.6 mole of SO3 gas is remained. So the question is calculate the concentration of each gas at the equilibrium. In question 2, calculate the equilibrium constant as C at 344 Kelvin. So the total mark here is 7 marks. And question B, phosphorus pentachloride PCl5 is left in a sealed container to establish equilibrium. So the equation is PCL5 reversible reaction produce PCL3 and Cl2. The equation is explain the effect of lowering temperature on the equilibrium constant Kp of the system and second explain the effect of adding argon gas at constant volume on the equilibrium position. The total mark here is 4 marks. So, this is the solution for question 9a. Calculate the concentration of each gas at equilibrium. Before we answering this question, we need to make sure the equation are in balance. Next, we need to form an ice table and third, we need to compare and substitution and for we answer the question. This equation is already balanced. Next, we form an ice table. So, in ice table, we just substitute the mole given which is 1.0 mole of SO3. So, for the reactant SO3, the initial mole is 1.0 and for the product is 0. So the changes is negative 2s for reactant and for the SO2 which is product positive 2s and for O2 positive s and the equilibrium is 1.0 minus 2s for SO3 and positive 2s for SO2 and for O2 is plus s. So at equilibrium 1.0 minus 2s equal to 0 0.6. Negative 2s equal to negative 0 0.4 and s is equal to 0 0.2 from here we just compare next Next, we need to compare the equilibrium state and the gas remain. So, we get the S value which is 0 0.2. After that, we answer the question 1 which is want us to calculate the concentration of each gas. For SO2 is 0 0.3 molar, for O2 
is 0 0.1 molar and SO2 is 0 0.2 molar. Next, we go for question 9A2, which is the keyword for this question is calculate. So, the question wants us to calculate the equilibrium constant you can see at 244 Kelvin. So, this is the formula for the KC, which is product concentration of a product over concentration of a pattern. So, we just substitute the concentration that we get from here into the formula and then we get the and then and then we get kc equal to 0 0.044 next question b phosphorus pentachloride pcl5 is left in a sealed container to establish equilibrium so the equation is pcl5 reversible reaction produce pcl3 and cl2 so the equation want us to explain the effect of lowering temperature on the equilibrium constant kp of the system so the keyword here is explain the effect of lowering temperature on the equilibrium constant and kp so for the disturbance drop in temperature which is removing heat from this equation we can know that the forward reaction is an exothermic and the reverse reaction is an endothermic how do we know the forward reaction is exothermic we just refer to the delta h which which is give a negative value so in order to reduce the disturbance the system must increase the temperature by release heat so the reaction is an exothermic reaction if the temperature is lowered the equilibrium position will shift to the right in order to release more heat to the system until new equilibrium is re-established so kp will increase Next question, B2, explain the effect of adding argon gas at constant volume on the equilibrium position. So the keyword here is explain. So this is the answer. When argon inert gas is added to the system at constant volume, the partial pressure of each gas remains unchanged. The system is still in an equilibrium, therefore, the equilibrium position remains unchanged. So, all return and product pressure remain the same. Well, I had done my presentation and thank you for watching. That's all for this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to consult with your lecturers. Stay at home, stay safe. Bye!